and steamy. Straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step, you set your hands in the worn folds of a weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precipice. With the last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself up onto the ledge. Howden tails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers, who had been feigning death, lunges for Howden and topples him to the rocky ground. Restrained, Heodan lashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. Despite the wind from your position, if you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance at hitting your mark. Sure, let's throw it at him. I don't give a fuck. Your aim is true, and it hits, and the hit jars Heodan loose. Lurching to his feet, Heodan clambers up the base of the rocks. As he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sideways and tearing one of his hands free. Free, free, free. But diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it, securing his... Sorry, it looks like it says bother and it's bothering me. <laughs> Other hand, you pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from their sockets. They hold just long enough for Heoden to set his feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There's a deep resonance to the swelling wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stone before you, loosening connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Portal? What portal? You mean, like, the tunnel archway? Okay. Was that? Uh. A Buick. Had to be. Okay. Then we're lucky to be alive. <laughs> and we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Okay. I'm going hmm. to check the recordings and use the toilet. All right. So, what are we at? So, I got to keep all the dudes. So I can probably rebalance this a little bit better. What happened to all this inventory? That's lame. Just shift things around a bit. It's got double daggers and an extra extra dagger, just in case. Properties interfering. Bonus crit damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> I threw my weapon at someone. <laughs> I'll just use an axe for a while, why not? <laughs> I'm probably gonna use the bow for a bit anyways. Eh? Mm -hmm. That looks weird. Mm hmm. Why is it so gritty looking? It's all steamy. That should be far enough. But what now? We uh, look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. What happened out there? <sighs> I'm giving her like a completely different voice when I speak with her. Windstorm of a kind they only get in Air Gallenfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Gallenfan word is biawak. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. They already said it like five times. To them, it's the gods' way of reaping the souls of the land. They can find their own way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours. Or still got yours? Who attacked us? Glan Fathens. Though'd, those'd be the hut dwellers Odma warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, who're the twitchiest of the lot. They're going to ruin to ruin oh they go to ruin go ruin to ruin looking for fights with colonists <laughs> poor Dama 
I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. <laughs> the clan fathom said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odama would never allow it. But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glen Fathens don't attack without being provoked. Either they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. What about everyone else in our caravan? They're dead. Kaliska's lips press together and Chim rumbles. Her voice is faint. The wheels got hold of them now. She looks up. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. You don't seem too upset about this. Kaliska looks you in the eye, a volatile current running beneath her voice. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and kept on walking. Because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people you care about who still need you. Let's get going. Hmm, I guess what's his face doesn't have anything to say about any of that. When in doubt, go left. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. If you say so, man. Ooh, a mace and some campfires. heard anger um let's see here what do we got hammer and chisel that's vibrating furiously simple iron hammer and chisel useful for chipping away hard surfaces i'm sure that's crafting thing why is this vibrating must be like right at the right um height that it just gets stuck between things and just vibrates furiously yes yeah, it's happening with wolf hide too that's interesting. All right, let's use a mace instead. We'll go all clericky. I wonder if we can like increase the speed of the screen scroll. One second. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. Ma, much better. Got some crystal dongs there. It's a trembling sticky creature. Emerges from the dark, clutching a spear and sickly not sticky. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show you enough of its skilly flesh, but you recognize it as a- Oh, why would you do that? I'm gonna call it a lizard man. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. See, it's a lizard. The creature cocks its head at you and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from its back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. It recoils, fingers still wrapped lightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, sniffs, and then goes back. Okay, well, let's go check this way first, and then we'll go rip it to pieces. Oh god, what is Look this? Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Death. That roundish symbol. Pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Roundish symbol. What the fuck are you talking about? These things? This mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows a procession of whatever the heck those are from the kith races. Blah 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 blah. They walk among pillars. Okay. Lesser black ooze. Look. I anchored the ooze. Just 
go slice it, I'm sure it's fine. And he's just he's just got all the daggers. Combined the ooze. Let's go! Oh geez, it's got friends. I think I just activated second wind with her. It's angry ooze, apparently. I'll everybody get together and go and loot the ooze plasma. And a funky looking axe. Where'd that slime come from? A vicious slick of something dark and tar like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. I'm gonna regret this. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in pieces, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a gem fills the other. So, did I get a gem? Can I attack it and... Yeah. So I guess we're gonna have to rest at some point too. Probably supposed to light these in a specific order. Let's light them all and see what happens. Apparently nothing? Oh, it shows you the path across. Okay. Ooh. What was that all about? This more fully is told. Uh, okay. game was it that I was playing where like the crossbow oh it was dungeon siege but the crossbow was like way faster than a freaking bow and arrow I'm like uh no 
that's not right. Um, cookies. Oh, I need to like get shit for shit. I don't have anything. I can make scrolls apparently too. <laughs> I got some shrooms. Stomach just made a weird grumbling noise. Huh. Camping supplies. Oh, I re that's the thing that- oh, I know! We can go back to that room and put the gem eh? in his face. Let's go do that. Let's see what happens. the gem in the eye socket. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Ooh, this looks ex exciting. What you need? What you need? Eh? Eh? It's in the secret tunnel. Uh. What you need? Ooh. Eh? Some goodies, apparently, in an urn. I'm not gonna make the obvious joke. You all hmm. know what I'm thinking. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's go back to that other thing. I just wanted to finish that because I thought that was interesting. While they're running. Oh wait, never mind. It's not live time. Wait. Do you hear that? No. Is it a lizard wizard? No. What you need? Got it. Take a look at the wall. Think we could get through? Holy shit. I just got slapped in the face. Okay. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through. Ooh, let's use the hammer and chisel. You set to work, the cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts, but the process is more taxing than you expected. Sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Let's do it. After several long moments, you begin to see the light. Oh, On the other side, with one final tap, several blocks of stone shift, then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through.
I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. How sure. can I help? I'll be quiet. No things around the corner. Save. Uh, yes, F five. Perfect. That's all I wanted to know. Do you feel that? There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. Oh God! Not the spiders. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Oh sweet, I just bypassed this all in completely. But I have a feeling if you just went around it wouldn't have killed you. So. What ebbs? It's kind of cool that there was two different ugh, ways to do this. Everybody just attack it. Oh, there's a big spider. Let's let's just hold on a second. What's this do? Ooh, I want to try that. I'm gonna hold it in reserve, actually. Hmm. Let. Sure. Especially sure. since like the spider wasn't all that hard to kill. Spider. Bats as large as chickens are strung in the web. Ooh, a hat. I'm gonna have to re do my inventory. Let's go outside first. mind. We gotta listen to the bathrobes first. Four figures stand between an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins. That's this stuff. Ominous looking, or er, ominous and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in the midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it with what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His face ro faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jet out like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oh, finder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, soul. queen that was, and regard it among your favor. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother? In the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw, step forth 
and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Um, the sound just snapped in half. Oh my god, the cement mixer is starting. Uh, they're vomiting purple beams. It's the cement mixer of doom. Shake the screen. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you're knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells in the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of eternity of adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've just seen, but immense and multifaceted, multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and yet they seem to exist before you. Think them and all... Jeez. Oh, you think them and they are all questions. Pressing questions. Troubling questions. Questions that must be answered or... Or... The grammar in that whole paragraph. Okay. And my reading. <laughs> At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and a ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You're walking towards him now, at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all. The question spins madly in your mind. Bro, you got any weed? Are we dead? You awaken to find your malaise is broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits with through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you could see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is sickness, it might be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Heuden and Kaliska lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. Oh. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Oh. Okay, well, um, I don't know how big our inventories are, so I'm going to take all the good stuff first, and then if I can take anything else. Can I just take it all? Okay. Well, I was going to, maybe it's good that that happened, because I was going to... <laughs> my hat. Um. I just stripped them completely. What happened to all the extra stuff? I would have thrown away that tunic. Unless it's in my stash. Yes, it's in my stash. I'm sure they would have wanted it this way. Ah. It's wiggling. Ew. 
it's also wiggling. It vibrates with unusual energy. We'll go to the veil wood. Rest would be good. Oh, my God. A rest would be good, I heard. So, if I were to use like a camping supply. What kind of camping you guys have done but like every time I go I just have these weird visions of crystals and pillars and it's just really trippy that monarch butterfly just disintegrated when I touched it Sir? Oh, there's a crossing. Okay. And no, I do not know where I'm going. I'm just wandering. Oh my god, it's a lizard wizard. Actually, no, we'll probably do this. Oh Jesus, okay. Oh Jesus. Let's go! Holy shit! Run away! Just Yeah. 